I'm going to show you how to make a moving average crossover expert advisor. Let's begin. First thing guys, open MetaTrader 4 and then click on this little uh, note thing right here Put or press F4. It's going to bring up this window similar to like this. We need to click on new to create a new one. Click expert advisor on the top. Now name the expert advisor or the name of the uh, program. Try to just do MA. Let's see. So basically moving average cross. Hit next. Hit next again. And we're going to focus, guys, just if you're on the screen, scroll down to get to the on tick area. Okay. Now we have to make some space. The first thing we're going to do are, is add our indicator, our first moving average. Now, here's our first moving average, and I'm going to break it down in detail, okay? In detail, guys, the first thing is going to be called a double. Now, a double is basically is going to read out a number in uh, basically a non-whole number. It would be 100.332 or 250.113. Not like an int or an int that reads out only whole numbers. Next thing is going to be name of our formula. Oh, I'm sorry, name of our moving average. It's going to call it moving average. Uh, basically, this is like already pre-programmed information, so it can be filled out uh, for a uh, MetaTrader. So it'd be I moving average. Just type in that or I capital M A. Uh, null. So null is going to read out basically on every single form, every single uh, currency pair. Now our time frame, guys, leave it at zero, so it'll be default. The next thing is going to be our period. Now it's going to be up to you guys, but for the video, I'm going to make our our slow one uh, 200. Okay, so it's bit, here's an example of a moving average of 150, and here's a moving average of 10. The lower the number, it's faster. The, the, sm the higher the number, the slower amount. Okay? And our, this is going to be our MA shift. We're going to leave that as zero for this video. And our next one is going to be MA method. Now, there's multiple methods. It's going to be simple, exponential, smooth, and linear. We're going to use uh, linear weighted. If you're going to use anything else, it's going to start off from zero, which is simple, one exponential, two smooth, and three linear weighted. Our next thing is going to be uh, apply to price. This is going to be zero. We're going to use a, cl a closed price. So you see how it's showing right here? Just make sure it's closed. I'll make it bigger for you guys. So it's closed, okay? Our next thing is going to be shift. Our shift is going to leave at zero. We're going to current for this portion. And the next part when we add the indicator, we're going to change it up, okay? Our next thing is, guys, we're going to add our fast moving average. Now, this one's going to be called moving average fast. It's going to be the exact same setup. Instead of doing 200, it's going to be 100 right here, okay? And our next thing is we need to create two more, uh, basically create an uh, indicator to read one back. So basically, when we get that crossover, we get to indicate the cross so it can be read. So we're going to create the moving average right here. So moving average, just put uh, underscore one. And in the shift uh, portion, place a one to be read not on the current candle, but one candle back. The next one is going to be moving average fast, one. And it's going to be placed with the one right here, put it one back. So now we're going to indicate our crossover point. We're going to put it as a bool statement. Now a bool statement is basically going to read true or false. That's it. So if it's true, then it runs. If it's false, it won't. So we're going to call it bool cross point equals the moving average. Our slow one is going to be under the current one for the current candle, which is moving average fast. And one candle back, the moving average is going to be under one. It's going to be greater than the moving average fast. It's going to look like this, guys. See how they see that cross? The top one is going to be on one. It's going to be greater. It's going to be lower. It's going to be higher and lower one back. Okay? Now, guys, let's get to the next part of our formula. It's going to be executing the order. It's going to be if orders to uh, total. So basically, before the trade runs, it's going to check if there's any orders open prior to running. We want it at zero, so there's nothing going to be open. And if the cross point is true. Remember, bool means true or false. If it's true, it runs. If these two things are true, because we use two double equals, double equals means it verifies. The check doesn't mean it equates to. Does it make it you know equals to? I'm going to explain the buy order, okay? The first thing is going to be an int, I-N-T. Next thing is going to be buy order. That's the name of the order. We're going to order send. Null went over. It's going to work on all currency pairs. OP buy means instant execution buy. So once it, it reads true, it'll enter at the market price. 
we're going to do the lot size as 0 0.01. The ask is basically going to enter at the ask. And slippage, basically, we don't want it to be too far away from the ask price. The next one should be our stop loss. We want basically a 100 pip stop loss. And our ask is, I'm sorry, our target profit is going to be basically 100 pip profit. This is going to be order comment. Just leave it at zero, guys. This is our magic number. Just make it one, two, three, four, five, six. This can be help you identify the order a whole lot easier. And this is going to be a, uh, our expiration time. Leave it at zero. We're not using any penny orders. And it's going to be the, num the color of the order, okay? As long as we got that in there, you guys see. Now we're going to place our alert saying if they crossed, they're going to allow you to, you know, give you an alert. You don't have to put that in there. If you don't want it, guys, just delete it. But, and before we do strategy check, you're going to make sure it compiles. See, compiles, no errors. Wonderful. Hit minimize. Our next thing is we're going to find that order. We're going to run it on pound yen and make sure we hit start. Now, guys, with starting, make sure you click use data and visual mode. Okay. It is working. So the first order is going to be 100 for a moving average. Our next moving average, which is uh, 200 right here. And we're going to make it red. All right, we're going to change our background a little bit, make it a little easier for us to read. And now, I guess, all you guys do is hit this pause play button right here, and you'll see that the moving averages are running. And when they cross, boom, we have our order. Now, the order will stay open until either the stop loss or the target profits hit. Let's see what happens. See? Target profit was hit, and you can see that it moved from here all the way over here. So this is how you create a moving average expert advisor. If you have any questions or comments, guys, please link, uh, please drop a comment below. I will have this data in the description, so if you guys want it, you guys can use it. It's very simple. But that's your moving average crossover, and I'll see you guys in the next video.